Today we're talking about the scariest helicopter on the planet. Ladies and gentlemen, the Little Bird, aka the Killer Egg. There's a lot of different variants, but essentially it comes in two different flavors. The AH-6, which is the attack version, and the MH-6, which is the troop transport, aka the Death Uber. Okay, here's the deal. These things are tiny. They're only 1,500 pounds. They are so small, they can actually fit inside of a C-130, making them extremely portable. They're also probably the easiest helicopter to maintain and work on. Because of their small size, they can get places that other helicopters just can't. They can land on the roofs of small buildings, and they can put grunts right on the front door of any given building on a city street. But to do that, you need a good pilot. That's why when you see a little bird, it is probably being piloted by a member of the 160th Special Operations Aviation Regiment, aka SOAR, aka the Night Stalkers. I'm trying to tell you that Uncle Sam put two of the best helicopter pilots on the planet inside of a helicopter that's half the size of a Prius. It's like Dale Earnhardt driving a go-kart covered in machine guns. It's terrifying. Obviously, it depends on the mission, but generally speaking, you're going to have two AH-6s escorting four MH-6s. So basically speaking, these guys fly ahead like five to ten seconds and then just delete all the bad guys before they drop off the grunts. And to give you an example of how good the Night Stalkers are at erasing bad guys, Greg Coker, 30-year Night Stalker veteran and the author of Death Waits in the Dark, said that he was personally asked by the grunts to leave a couple of bad guys behind because they wanted something to do too. So how much firepower does a little bird actually have? Well, it can carry Hellfire missiles, Stinger missiles, rocket pods, mini guns, 50 cal mini guns. But for example, one of the more common configurations is known as TRIPS, which is 172 rocket pod, one M134 minigun, and one 50 caliber minigun on the other side. To put that amount of firepower into perspective, a little bird running the TRIPS configuration was credited with taking out a T-55 tank during the global war on terror. A 1,500 pound helicopter took out a 36 ton tank. And that's just the opener. And you got four of these dropping off grunts to do whatever their mission is. And these are not normal grunts, by the way. Hey, Uncle Sam's not sending you into a mission on a little bird because you passed your PT test, all right? These are Green Berets, Navy SEALs, Delta Force, Dev Gru. These are the baddest men on the planet that got sent there to do something very specific, and I don't know what it is, but it's probably gonna fucking happen. Let's face it, if Uncle Sam sends a bunch of little birds your way, he's aiming small and he's planning to miss small. There's only two types of people that get to see little birds coming at him. People that are about to get rescued and people that are about to become past tense. I mean, if you were some genital russet I mean, dictator, the last thing you would ever want to see is a bunch of little birds pulling up to your palace. Because if they're rolling up in killer eggs, it is not standard on healthcare. This is like the unhealthcare version of the Mayo Clinic. You know how if you need somebody resuscitated, you should call a doctor? If you need somebody desuscitated, you call those guys. They are world leading experts in holistic healthcare. In conclusion, do not play Angry Birds with Uncle Sam. You're gonna get sent somewhere and it's not gonna be fucking Sesame Street. As usual, we have new merch designs at the first of every month, so go check those out. Merch store and all the other links are available at the Fat electrician.com. Quack bang out.